G'day, this is Jeremy Nagel with a video showing you how to convert emails to cases in Zoho CRM automatically. Quite a few people have been asking for this and it's currently not a feature in Zoho CRM. The Zoho team would rather that you use Zoho support, but if you prefer cases in Zoho CRM, here's a way to achieve it. Basically, because it's not a proper feature in Zoho, what we'll do is we'll use Zapier to achieve it. Zapier is a system for integrating different apps together. So what we'll do is we'll log into Zapier, make a new Zap, and we're going to use their email parser system. So we'll need to set up a parser. So we'll sign up and just create it with my personal account. And then I'll create a mailbox. And what we can do is we can set up our email account to automatically forward to that particular address. So what I'll do is I'll say test and I'll attach an attachment as well so you can see how it would handle attachments. And basically what this will do is it will then have the email in a place where Zapier can look at it and it can Zapier will then be able to automatically understand what was in that email and then be able to push it into Zoho CRM after that. So it'll just wait for an email to come through. It's probably taking a while because of the attachment. Might send another one. Without an attachment, which might go through a bit faster. Okay, so we've got it here. And we'll just do that. Use this app. So now if we go back here, should have that. Slowly. Yep. So you have to set it up once and then it'll be connected. And we'll do save and continue. We use the mailbox that we set up before. And I'll just send another one through. Okay, so we've got that side of it set up. Now what we want to do is when we get a new email, 
we then want to create a new module inside Zoho CRM. And that module, of course, will be cases. You need to connect up your Zoho CRM account. So you'll go connect a new account. And then you generate an auth token. So click on this link here. And then it will give you an auth token. I've already done that side of it before, so I'm just going to use the one I already have. So now what we'll do is we'll choose cases from here. We will include an attachment. Maybe we can't actually include an attachment. It did work when I did it with Gmail. So it might be a case of if you are using Gmail, it will be possible to set it up. You might have to look at a different way. If it is uh, not using MailParser, I'll, I'll come back to this and give a, another answer on how to achieve that. Let's leave the attachment out for now. We'll just do the other parts of it. So for the status, we'll just make that open. Case origin, we'll do email. Subject. Email subject. And then you could put the email address too. And the description, we'll put that in. Email body plane. Then we'll do continue. So you can see it is going to be able to get that information from the email, get put the right subject and the right body in there. So that should work. It's going to complain in this case because I've already got a, a case in there with that same subject. I'll just nuke the current one I have. But I'll show you before I do that, I'll show you how it did work when I did it with the Gmail version that it did automatically include the attachment. So it is possible to do. It might just be that if you're using Google Apps, then it will be easy to do. If not, then it might be a little bit more difficult to achieve. Just delete that one. Yep, 
So that is all set up. And that's the process. Hopefully that helps resolve that issue.